The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hey, Kara Ustros here with realagriculture.com. We are back here today with another Wheat School episode, and I am out here back in the field, not via Skype, but back in the field with Jeremy Boychin, who is the Agronomy Research Extension Specialist with Alberta Wheat and Barley Commissions. How is it going today? It's going great. I'm standing in a wheat field. I don't think it could get any better, Kara. Wonderful wheat, as Wheat Pete would say. <laughs> uh, anyways, we are here today to talk about uh, fungicide timing. What are some of the things you're wanting to tell producers right now? So right now, as we are heading into, in some areas, herbicide timing um, in the south part of the province, we're, we're already there and kind of moving forward. Is Now's a great time to start scouting to see whether you are seeing any potential uh, foliar leaf diseases in your wheat. Um, so in wet conditions and in parts of the province right now, we're heading there where we're seeing rain every three to five days in some areas. Um, there's a potential for leaf diseases to start progressing. So as you're scouting for your, your herbicide timing, it's good to also check to see if you're seeing any um, foliar diseases on that younger plant. And that can give you indication of what might be coming later if this rain and moisture continues heading into flag leaf. So what are some of the uh, things you're telling producers, especially when it comes to not just making one pass through your field? Yeah, so um, as you're going through and looking through during herbicide timing to see if there's any disease, I want to remind producers that um, previous research has looked at fungicide timing, at herbicide timing, um, and Sherry Stridehorse is actually doing research right now um, over the past couple years looking at whether it would align with uh, manipulator timing or that growth stage 31, 32, so chlormoclot chloride, um, whether it's going to work in that stage. And we haven't seen results from that either. And re research has shown that the best timing is in that flag leaf timing or head timing. That's when we're getting the best results because that's when you're protecting that um, photosynthetic material. Um, but that early staging can give you an indication of whether you're getting risk later. So as you're getting close to flag leaf timing, you're going to want to go in and check to see whether that, that disease has moved up um, or if there's anything moving up at all. And if you haven't, if you don't see anything heading into that flag leaf timing um, and things are dry and you don't think there's gonna be a risk, um, if your yield potential isn't there, then, then maybe waiting for head timing um, is more appropriate if you have fusarium risk um, potentially in the future. Um, so there's always the question of, should I go at flag leaf or should I go at head timing? Um, and I would say the answer depends on your situation. It's not gonna be the same answer every year. Depends on what your disease risk is heading into flag leaf and then what your fusarium head blight risk is heading into that timing. Do you recommend looking at risk masks, uh, risk maps as well uh, to, in I guess to figure out whether you should be waiting for head timing or getting out there right away? Absolutely. Um, so each province is going to have their fusarium risk map um, and that is not a direct indication of whether you are or aren't going to get fusarium. It's a risk potential. It's based on environmental conditions. You also have to have the inoculum there but it does give you an indication of whether you're at high or low risk in that area. Um, so what we like to recommend is as you are getting into that flag leaf timing and that's emerging you want to start watching that province specific fusarium head blight risk map um, and then you can start preparing and asking yourself the question is this something I'm going to have to make sure I get prepared for or you know things are going really slow and I'm not seeing that increased fusarium head blight risk um, and then continue to watch it as you get into emer or head emergence um, and then you can adjust whether you want to do that early application earlier application timing of fusarium head blight so at the beginning um, when you're getting all those hedge emerging or later on when you're into that flowering timing and you can kind of time it based on that so um, yeah you're, you're watching your disease heading into to flag leaf timing asking that question whether I need to protect that flag leaf that's a yield bearing leaf if not then you're pushing on and asking the next question do I need to check for um, fusarium head blight risk and applying at that time I wouldn't say you need to stick with if, if you have the idea you're going to spray it at, at uh, head timing that doesn't mean you shouldn't look in to see whether there's issues at flag leaf timing it should be an, a year by year decision asking the question is where is the biggest risk um, research has shown that head timing 
typically gives the same or better results in terms of yield, um, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be also protecting your flag leaf as well. Because if you wait for that head timing and disease ends up taking over your flag leaf, um, that head timing is not going to, it's not going to uh, give back that yield that you've lost from, from your flag leaf from disease. And if producers are out uh, around that flag leaf stage and they're walking around their fields, what sort of foliar diseases should they be looking for? Uh, so with wheat, you're looking, the main ones is the septoria complex and your tan spot. Those are going to be the main ones that you're going to be looking at. Um, generally, it's going to be, depend on what you've had in the future and, and or had in the past and um, what, your, what your variety resistance is. But either way, whether you're dealing with one or the other, your, your, your management plan should be the same in terms of what timing I should be looking at for my fungicide. Absolutely. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? No, that's everything. Excited to see how wheat comes along this year. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Jeremy.